Hi, welcome to Celebrate Aging. My name is Wendy Gordon and I'm the Consulting Registered Dietitian here at Ecumen Detroit Lakes, formerly known as Emanuel. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about healthy foods that you may never have eaten before. So a lot of times what people will do is they'll get used to their same food routines and eating the same things over and over. So what I want to do is I want to expand your appetite, your nutritional horizons and maybe help you experience some new exciting foods. What we're going to start with first off here is kiwis. Now some of you may have tried kiwis before, but when I did a demonstration, I was so surprised at how many people had never eaten a kiwi. So what I'm going to do is explain to you first of all how to pick a good kiwi to know if they're ripe or not. What you want to do is when you go to the store, you want to be able to put your finger into and it just cause a slight indentation into the fruit. That'll let you know that it's ripe. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. I've eaten kiwis for many years, but I always really did have difficulty in how do I get into it. So that's another big part of why people don't expand in their foods is they don't know first of all how to eat it and how to make it into their diet. So I'm going to show you a really cool little tip that I learned when I was doing my internship from this great pastor. So he was eating a kiwi one day. We were in the cafeteria together. He was eating a kiwi and I watched him and I thought, that is the coolest little trick. So I'm going to show it to you because this is really neat. What you do is with a ripe kiwi, you're just going to cut it right in half. So that's what you want to do. And kiwis, you know, like I've told you before, God is such an amazing creator. And how he's made our food so beautiful. I mean, just the design of a kiwi is pretty in itself. So what you do is you're going to cut it in half. Then you take a spoon. And what you want to do is you just want to take the inside of the spoon here. And all you do is you go right around the very edge of the fruit and the skin. And you want to go as close as possible because a lot of the nutrients when it comes to fruits and vegetables are the closest to the skin. That's where a lot of the nutrients lie. So what you do is you take this spoon and you go all the way around till you've done through the whole inside of the skin like that. Look at that, there's your kiwi. Then you can put it in your bowl, cut it up, and you get right down to the thinnest part of the layer of the, of the fruit. So there's a little tip on how to get into a kiwi so that you don't miss any of the nutritional benefits and it's an easy way to do that. Now what I want to tell you about the nutritional benefits of a kiwi is that two kiwis, like these right here, have twice as much vitamin C as an orange. Now vitamin C is huge when it comes to boosting your immune system. We're just coming out of our winter season, but still a lot of people getting colds and not feeling well. So vitamin C is very important to increasing your immune system. So two kiwis, twice as much vitamin C as an orange. So the next one that I want to go over with you is an avocado. Many people have heard about avocados, but never tried one, never brought it into their diet on a regular basis. Avocados are a superfood. They are so nutritious for you. So another thing that you want to know about avocados is that, yes, they are high in fat, but they are high in the good fat. It's very important to understand that our bodies need fat, but there's three different categories of fat. There's saturated fat, which is the fats that come from animals. Then there's polyunsaturated fat, and then there's monounsaturated fat which is the healthiest fat for you. It is extremely good for your heart. Guess what avocados are? Monounsaturated fats. So this is the kind of food that you want to put inside your body. So I'm also going to show you real quick on how to get into an avocado. Same kind of thing. What you're going to do is you're going to cut your avocado in half. You're not going to get all the way through, so you're going to slice it around because it has a very large seed on the inside. Okay, so there's your avocado. You just pop that middle part out because that's your seed. And the exact same kind of concept. What you're going to do is you're going to take your spoon and you're going to go right around the outside of the skin and pop. Out comes your avocado and look at there. All that's left is the skin. Super easy. Ways that you can use avocados is slice it, put it right into your salad, put it on your sandwich. You will never taste anything so good as an avocado on your sandwich or your salad. So lots of ways on how to use these nutritious foods. One of the other things that we're going to go over here is to show you, we have a lot of people with peanut allergies now. We're looking at that as there's so many schools and, and so many um, people that have peanut allergies and you know 
peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. How many kids are eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? We were raised on that. Quick snack, quick lunch. But now with not being able to eat peanut butter, there needs to be alternatives. Here's an alternative for you that you may not have known but extremely healthy. That's sunflower butter. You can get all of these products right here at Central Market. I went yesterday and got it from there. So we have it at our local grocery store. You can get it at Walmart. So it's easy, accessible to get. And this is made from sunflower seeds, okay? Four times as much vitamin E in sunflower butter as there is in peanut butter. Vitamin E is very important for your body. Vitamin E helps protect our cells in our body from damage. Besides, it tastes delicious. So this is another alternative, new food that you may not have tried before. So get that and try it, you will love it. Along that same lines with peanut allergies and wanting to get some different kinds of nut butters is what you're looking at here is almond butter. So this is another alternative, very extremely healthy. Almonds are one of the most nutritious nuts out there. They're high in calcium, they lower cholesterol, the bad cholesterol in your body. They give you a great source and amount of energy. So these little packets are also sold with also, you can get them in the jar size like this, almond butter. I love almond butter. So this is another alternative for peanut butter. So super nutritious food. All right, another food we're gonna go over is red lentils, okay? This was actually in Dr. Oz as a superfood. So a lot of times Dr. Oz will promote something, the next thing you know the supermarkets are out of it because everybody runs and gets it. So red lentils, very, very healthy for you. The cool thing about lentils is that they cook a lot faster than beans, so you don't have to pre-soak them or anything. Easy way to use these, you can throw them in your chili, you can put them in your soups, in your stews. Um, I just use them as a dip. You can cook them and make them like a refried bean. You make a puree out of them and do red lentils. Very high in fiber, very high in iron. So this is a great source of protein also. All right, so there's a new one for you, red lentils. All right, here's one that kind of gets people because they don't know how to say it. But how you pronounce this is quinoa. This is a super grain. Now, a lot of times here, what we're dealing with too is gluten-free, okay? People are allergic to gluten and there's a lot of people that are gluten-free diets now. So they're looking for alternatives to wheat sources. Fantastic, yummy grain. A Couple things that you can do with this in your diet is you can replace this for your rice or your starch in your meal. I like to cook it for a hot cereal in the morning. It is so good, it cooks real quick. Also, very high in protein and also high in iron. So this is another great new healthy food that you may not have tried before. So it's called quinoa. All right, couple more left here. You're really gonna be expanding your diet with these new healthy nutritious foods. Now I know you've probably eaten salmon before, but there's a couple things that I wanna point out to you. Some people eat salmon fillets, but you can also have salmon from a can that you can do a lot of nutritional things for you. Now your brain, is made up of a lot of fat, okay? All of ours are, it's not just you, it's all of us. And so what you wanna do, it's very important to get healthy fats into your diet. Omega-3 fatty acid, which many of you have heard about before, is a very, very good um, oil for your body. It's also good for your brain. Salmon is very high in omega-3 fatty acid. So when you buy salmon, the one tip that I wanna make sure that I point out to you is that you wanna make sure that on the can it says wild caught extremely important that you have, that it says on there, wild caught. That lets you know that it's not farmed raised. So that's an important point to, um, for me to point out to you for salmon. All right, two last things here that I wanna go over with you is edamamas, which are soybeans. Very, very, very good source of a plant protein. They're great in all kinds of foods. Get it at the store, try it, put it on your salads, put it in your wraps. There's so many things you can do and they're delicious. You can put it in your hand, just use this as a snack. All right, very last one we're gonna go through. Look at all these new foods that you can try in your diet. All right, coconut milk. Many people lactose free, looking for different ways to drink milk, be able to have milk in their diet without doing dairy. Coconut milk is delicious and coconut is very, very good for you. It's good for your hair, for your skin. It's a medium chain fatty acid and it helps to um, give you energy. 
So these are the new foods that you can try in your diet. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you ever have any questions about what I've talked about on the show, please contact me here at Emmanuel at Ecumen Detroit Lakes. Be blessed, eat healthy, and be well. Thank you.